Hi guys, I'm back again. This time with a crocheted uh, ch children's poncho. Uh, well, more for girls, I think. Um, you wouldn't really dress a boy with a poncho, especially in pink. <laughs> well, anyway, this is a very easy project and I recommend it to everybody, even for a beginner. Um, the poncho consists of uh, granny squares and uh, you can do a normal traditional granny square where you have the squares inside and it just gets bigger or you could use uh, another motif also square as long as it's square it's pretty easy to use you can see it's just really squares put together there you go just normal squares put together and you could use like I said traditional granny squares or um, uh, 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 a a square block or crochet block or a block sorry or whatever uh, model you have as long as it's it's square um, because that's that's what makes it so easy to work with um, well I'm just gonna show it like this so if you can if you know how to um, crochet stuff without uh, without having to count them or just have to look then you have a pretty good idea how it's done uh, you, at the end I did a half square, the same on the other side, just a half square. And I did a single crochet all the way around for about, I think it's one, two, three, four, five rows. And the six I did a picot, picot stitch all around. And so it gave a little petite to it. You could do... Um, the other ones, uh, I don't know what, what what it's called in English, but the ones hairy that hangs dangling like on a normal poncho. Uh, but I thought this would look more simple and uh, uh, more cute. Um, well, let me see. Um, well, this is, uh, I think, for a one and a half, two year old, maybe a three year old if it's a, a, a not so big uh, girl. Um, I did three rows, two, two with a three row, and the other one I just continued up. You know, the rows at the top um, are the shoulder part, so it's not a full square, but a full square divided in half, so it's where the shoulder ends and the arm. So you have, this is where you see, and this is, and the back side, it's pretty much the same, you know, the other half of this square is on this side. You see? Yeah, and it's just a normal square. I just bent the poncho so it looks like a half square. And the same thing at the at the back. It's very easy. And the neck is also like is like this. So when you put the back and the front together you automatically get a neck or a hole where you can put the, the head through. Uh, I used a cotton a cotton yarn. I think it was a cotton number eight, and I used a three millimeter millimeter crochet hook, and that's the European size. And this is what I got. I actually used another different cotton. It was it said eight millimeters, but it was much more thick. And the the well, her, mm, the granny squares ended up getting bigger, so of course the poncho got a, 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 t a bit bigger also. But it was, I mean, you could see the blocks were bigger. Um, so this is very very a very very soft cotton, number eight. I actually also did another one. That's right here. This is my second one. I did a first one. This is the one. A blue one. <clears throat> I did two colors because I ran out of the, the, I don't know what you call it, the light brown color. So I ended up doing one side blue and, and light brown and the other side I did a complete blue. And this is much bigger because um, this was a, a mercerized uh, cotton. So it, it's not as matte as the normal cotton number eight this is uh, this has a, a glance to it like a pearl 
more of a glance. The other one is pretty simple, but the other, but this one has a yeah, like a more glance to it, and it's much more thinner. So at this project, I used a two and a half millimeter crochet hook, and I did four granny squares at the top instead of the the three I used used here. So I can just put it up here, and you can see the size. You can see it's there's a quite a difference. Yeah. Well, anyway, this is what I've been up to. Actually, been up doing a, quite a few things. Uh, just so keep keep getting back to my channel and get updated. Uh, I've been doing uh, bracelets and uh, pearl rings. I can just show you the ring. I'm just gonna move this aside. I've been working on this. I used a one of the tutorials at the YouTube channel. I'm gonna put out a link and a and a better photo, uh, close-up photos, because this is a, a a camera, not a video camera, so it doesn't really zoom like the other ones. Um, well, I don't have the bracelets because I'm all sold out. I'm selling them if you're interested. Uh, I'll be sure to put a photo up when it when I've made one. Anyway, um, thanks for watching and keep getting back. Bye.